Oh hey there, what's up? My name's Pyrostyle Jutsu. I do live reactions to One Piece and My Hero Academia uh, chapters. And uh, since, uh, but since there's been a One Piece break lately, you know, I haven't. I feel like I need to film a little something extra. I haven't been filming enough lately, so I thought I'd do something a little different, uh, like a shorter video. De definitely not a live reaction. Um, well. Kind of. Well, at least I'm reacting to um, something that Oda said recently. But, um, okay, so, uh, recently, according to um, Library of O'Hara, um, a.k.a. Artur, who you all should be following, he's a brilliant translator for, like, everything related to One Piece. Um, but he, uh, he actually translated uh, something that Oda said recently in, like, an interview, I think. Where uh, he gave his three, his top three all-time favorite moments in One Piece, and like you know, like there's, I'm sure if you're into One Piece, you have more than three moments. So so many moments. I know I have so many moments that are just like world-changing for me. But uh, <laughs> the three moments that Oda picked were definitely not. Uh, any th moments that I would have predicted personally or chosen, but uh, hey, man, he's the one who actually writes and draws this story, <laughs> and he has been for 23 years now. So, you know what his favorites are, or what his favorites are. Um, but yeah, I believe uh, he said his number three was the the moment in Skypea where it's like a, um, the 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 bonfire moment. Um, where it's like the straw hats and like all the wolves are like having like this party around this bonfire. It's like this really, it's really chill. It's not quite a full, uh, like a banquet moment. You know, like after a lot of arcs, the straw hats have like a banquet, uh, you know, with the, the friends that they made along the way in the, in that arc. Um, but this is kind of, this was in the middle of the arc, not, not at the end, but it's, it, it is a really nice like moment. And like Otis said, like like that envisioning that moment in his head is part of the reason why he even did the Skypea arc in the first place. So yeah, that's the, that I'm not I won't lie, I kind of forgot about that moment myself because for me, when I was watching through Skypea in the anime, uh, I was trying to catch up with One Piece like for the first time. So like a lot of stuff in One Piece was kind of a blur to me, and uh, unfortunately. The entire Skypea arc, Skypea arc for me was kind of a blur. Like, I remember certain things, but, um, and obviously I remember Anel, one of the coolest anime villains, one of the best villains in One Piece, uh, and one of the best devil fruits in One Piece, uh, and also the introduction of Observation Hockey in Skypea. But I definitely, I barely vaguely remembered that scene with the bonfire. Um, but, but yeah, that was one of, that's Oda's third favorite moment in the entire series. Um, for me though, my third favorite moment, well, it's right here <laughs> on my shirt. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah, I, I, I've worn this shirt in a lot of videos. Um, but yeah, that's... That's my favorite, uh, my third favorite moment, my favorite Zoro moment. And there's a lot of cool Zoro moments, but that moment, I feel like this moment is on everyone's list of top three One Piece moments that nothing happened. It's just, it's such a quintessential, like, timeless, badass moment. And, like, Zoro is, everyone loves Zoro, and that, that is one of them, that is the defining moment of Zoro, pretty much. So, yeah, that's, but that's only my number three. Um, uh, but let's go back to Oda. His number two, <laughs> Oda's second favorite moment in the entirety of One Piece. Oh my god, <laughs> I love Oda. This is something no one would ever think twice about. But the reason Oda gives for why it's his second favorite moment is actually, I do buy it. I do believe, I, I agree. It's the moment in the toward the beginning of the Sabaody Archipelago arc, where they're kind of getting the lay of the land and like like the, they see the bubbles and like how everything is, and Robin <laughs> notices the 
reason why these bubbles happen, why they come up from the ground, is because the grass on side of the archipelago is like full of this like sticky like sap, like that kind of like the oxygen fills it and turns into bubbles, and so she touches it, and she touches the gooiness with her <laughs> with her the slimy gooiness with her hand, and Usopp just happens to be standing right next to her. She go and so she goes. Oh, the, this residue must be the reason why the, the bubbles happen. And then she just wipes it. She wipes the stickiness on, on um, Usopp's pant leg. And the Usopp's like, what the? What, why are you rubbing on me? And so, that was a funny scene. I definitely remember that moment. But the reason why Oda um, loves that moment is because he said it adds like a realism to 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 his story and i i, I tend to agree with that because like who hasn't touched something like gross and then like wiped it <laughs> like on their friend and then their friend's like hey what the hell <laughs> like or, or have some who hasn't had that done to them like you've either, you've either you've either done it to someone or it's been done to you like i i like like that's just such a like common like friend thing to do <laughs> it's like just kind of like messing with your friend so yeah that's but yeah, that's Oda's second favorite moment in his entire series, One Piece. The man has his reasons. Uh, but my second favorite scene is um, is the scene. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> this and I, I this this scene is not something that I think a lot of people, um, like the Zoro moment, the nothing happened, everyone puts that on their list, but this is a moment that I, that I don't really hear a lot of people talk about, uh, but it, it involves the going merry. And, uh, at the end of the Annie's Lobby arc, with the Straw Hats are completely desolate, like they're completely desperate, and they, like, they need to get out, the Marines, like this Buster call, like coming down are on them. They have like no ship to, like they have no way of getting out. And then in this in this moment where Usopp, he hears something or he senses something, and he tells everyone to jump into the ocean, <laughs> which seems like it would be like a suicidal thing, like just out of desperation, screw it, let's just let's just kill ourselves. But he says it because. Their broken, busted, weary ship that they left in Water 7, their first ship as a crew, the Going Merry, found its way to them. And the spirit, the Kabaterman of the boat, guided the ship to the crew to rescue them and for them to sail on her one last time. And when I see that scene in the anime, with the music and the way that it's built up, Every single time, I just break down crying. It just hits me so hard. I can't watch that scene without, like, I, I look when I'm rewatching like the Luffy versus Luchi fight. I have to skip over that part unless I just, well, if, if it starts, then I'm just okay. I guess I'm gonna be crying, like on my knees, crying openly, like just weeping, and like it's just I can't watch that scene without just being just. It tears me up. And, like, that's not a scene a lot of people think of. A lot of people think of the scene after that, you know, the Mary's funeral, like, as being one of the saddest moments in One Piece. And I agree, but what hit me harder than the funeral, even, was that moment where the Mary comes to rescue them. It's just, I can hear the music in my head right now from that scene in the anime. It's just, it's, I'm surprised I'm not crying right now. But that scene, that's my second favorite scene in the entirety of One Piece. Um, uh, but so Oda's favorite scene, his number one scene, uh, is actually a very, it might even, well, okay, it's not as surprising as number two, but it's pretty surprising. It's actually pretty recent. It's in the, uh, the beginning of the current arc we're in right now, Wano, uh, where the, the, the big, where you see the flower capital for the first time, like the big splash page, the big double page. Of seeing the flower capital and seeing Wano for the first time, Ichiro Oda has been waiting to get to want to this Wano arc for years and years and years. Uh, he's been kind of alluding to it ever since, at least since Thriller Bark. I think was the first time in the series that it was mentioned, 
and like we waited there was many years since then or it was many years after that until we finally got to Wano uh where we are now because Oda you know he wanted to have an arc where the Straw Hats go to a place with like samurai and ninja like a like a really Japanese uh themed island but he and he said this is and this was kind of surprising but he says the reason why it took so long to get to Wano because he he felt like he was copying Naruto at the time like or he would have been copying Naruto his his uh friend and rival Masashi Kishimoto you know his Naruto series um you know I feel like <laughs> that you know it probably would have been okay but but you know I don't know but the, the we got to, I think we got to Wano at the right time in the story, but I, I just thought that was kind of a weird reason to, to give, because, you know, clearly, it's, you know, the, Wano is very different from the ninja world, uh, in Naruto, you know, it's very different, uh, but even though there are different, like, uh, kind of like the land of the ninja world, where you have, like, the, the, the leaf village and the cloud village and like like the different countries or whatever you kind of have that in Wano with the different regions but you know it, it's it's obviously it's different but uh but yeah that just getting to draw I, I know that must have been incredible for him to draw that that big double page of like this is what I want this Japanese uh feudal like Japan style um uh, like fantastical land to look like and like I'm sure that was a great moment for him, but and so I can see why that would be uh, his favorite uh, moment in One Piece. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely not my number one favorite, though. Uh, my number one favorite is very far removed from that. It is in the pre-time skip in my favorite arc, Marineford, and it is centered around my favorite character. Salome, Bow Hancock's pet snake. That's right. He's a, okay. No, it's it's Ace. It, it's Ace. Ace is my favorite character, and I plan to make at least one like really like long, probably uh, emotional video about why Ace is my favorite character of all time. But uh, but yeah, uh, just to give you a little sneak peek of that, I'm telling you here, he's my favorite character. And obviously the Marineford arc is basically centered around him and rescuing him. Um, and so my favorite moment in the entirety of my favorite series, One Piece, is the moment where Luffy, after fighting through hell, fighting through all these Marines and all this, and like Mihawk and like all this insanity, even punching his own grandfather, after going through all this, and, and not just Luffy, but all the, the Whitebeard Pirates, just the, the war that happened to make this happen. That moment where it's like, Ace is literally about to be executed, but they, they save him in the nick of time, and they just, it, it, but even though they destroy the scaffolding, um, you know, they're, they're firing at them. So, like, the executioner couldn't get Ace, but they're still going to fire cannons, and he's wearing the sea stone cuffs. Um, so, but, it, and the, also Kizaru earlier had destroyed the key to his cuffs. So it's like, that they were like really screwed. But we just so happened to have a waxy angel on our side, Mr. Three, to make a copy of the key just in the nick of time. And it looks like, you can't tell, you see the explosion, like, oh my god, did it hit them? And then all of a sudden, you get that moment. You get this moment right here. I have it on my wall. Oh, you can see it. Oh, the moment where Ace is freed by Luffy. And the two brothers have the big, it's a big explosion. This epic moment of like, Luffy, you're always so reckless. <laughs> that you just have the moment where Luffy's just like, Ace! Oh my God! <laughs> I know, and I know. Obviously, it didn't. At the end of the day, it didn't end so well for Ace. Obviously, but that moment, it just filled me up with so much elation and like relief. 
and like just see that just the fire, just the beautiful look of the fire, and like the brothers, like Luffy, Ace has got Luffy, you know, like as soon as like as soon as Ace gets freed, he's got his little brother, like like from that point on, Luffy's safe. Um, and of course that was taken to the to a pretty big extreme, you know, when when Akainu caught up to them, but but yeah, that moment. Ace being freed is my personal favorite moment in One Piece. So, uh, but yeah, that's so uh, that's my top three right there. I just thought I'd make a different kind of video here because Oda gave his top three favorite moments in One Piece. And uh, I think King of Lightning, uh, I'm a big fan of King of Lightning. He also did a similar video to this and that inspired me to do it. So, uh, but yeah, so that's going to do it for me. Uh, like, comment, your favorite uh, three moments in uh, One Piece. And uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So yeah, it's Pirates of Jutsu signing out. Let me wipe this sticky residue on you. Thanks.